Despite a growing competition within the technology space globally to solve society's problems, project works by most Ghanaian technical university students waste away after graduation. But an information communication technology graduate of the Takwadi Technical University, Edward Arma, who has developed a solar-powered backpack charging system, is trying to change the status quo by seeking funds to commercialize the technology that can charge more than four laptops. Our Western Regional Correspondent, Akwesi Ejenim, has the details. Technical education in other parts of the world leads technological innovations that actually solve societal problems. But in Ghana, technical university graduates are basically consumers of technical products produced by other countries. But what is the problem? The mandate of the technical university is one to provide um, opportunities for skill development, applied research, and the publication of research findings. And um, um, currently, we ask the student to do real, real projects so that we can um, address the need of the society. Edward Ama, a 2020 ICT graduate of the Takwara Technical University, believes funding is the major impediment hindering the development and commercialization of his prototype solar-powered backpack charging system that has the potential to make life convenient, especially for students and workers. This happens to be my project work that I did as an HND student. That is UPS in a backpack. This is UPS in a backpack. And then it has two sources of energy. That's the solar panel and then the, the main electricity. When the UPS is fully charged, it can last for three days. And then the UPS can charge up to four laptops and then a maximum of three or four mobile phones, chargeable lamps and chargeable fans. And then the UPS is made in such a way that it has a space inside that can be connected out. You have a space inside that can be connected out to the extension board, and then that can, can, can just um, help, uh, help you to just charge your laptops and then your mobile phones as well. This is the mechanical engineering workshop of Takwari Technical University, where we have several of these uh, projects that are currently at the prototype level, waiting to actually have funding to be commercialized into usable projects in society, but they are basically currently gathering dust due to funding. But how alarming is this issue of non-funding of projects here at the Technical, Technical University? I have Professor John Bento, the Dean of Faculty of Engineering, to actually tell me how alarming is this issue? Yeah, these are projects designed based on societal problems. Unfortunately, they are student projects, and all that we can do is to produce the prototypes. So they are lying here idle in anticipation that we will get some funding from donor agencies, institutions which will be interested to partner the university in producing them in commercial quantities. Edward, who is the inventor of the solar-powered backpack UPS, tells me how he intends to improve on his technology with the right funding. I have the perception that this whole project is bulky, it's very big. The reason being that it's a prototype. But aside that, I want to do it more in the job market. And then doing it in the job market, it has to be suitable and has to be more durable in the job market. So I plead to the general public to help me. Meanwhile, the vice chancellor tells me what Takra Technical University is currently doing to be attractive to funding for student and research projects. Currently, we have also set up a business directory and also they have, they have been mandated to come up with an incubation center whereby such projects are brought to the center and then we nurture them and then develop it properly and then see how best we can be able to market those uh, projects. So currently we are putting structures. Funding, we have to um, do funding ourselves and then I believe as we develop the project, um, industry will see or come into partnership for us to maybe, maybe um, put it, push it up uh, to the market. These materials must be commercialized. But who is responsible for this? For City News, I'm Akwesi Ejenim Takradeo.